Hey, welcome back to Dry Dock Flower Farm. I am out in the field today. I'm planting more zinnias. I have um, basil to plant. I have some marigolds to plant. I have sunflowers. Sunflowers out the yin yang to plant. Um, we also have some tomatoes to plant today. We have peppers to plant in the um, vegetable garden. So we are gonna be busy. I got up early this morning and it was nice outside overcast, but the sun is starting to come out. It's starting to get really hot and um, I'm already sweating just um, getting a few things ready to plant here. And uh, I've got my, um, my pad and pen because I will forget where I planted something or what color I've planted and then what order I planted it so I have to write everything down um, I'm gonna turn you around I have some basil to plant in that pretty I did not get to plant it last week so it's, it's gonna get in the ground today um, I'm gonna take you on down the road here see if I can see what I'm doing <laughs> these are dahlias aren't they pretty they're getting huge these, um, I got these plant, um, I got the tubers, um, from, um, the box store. Isn't that pretty? And this one, I'm not sure what's wrong with this one. It's kind of limp looking. Um, I was looking at it. I'm not sure if something has gotten a hold to it. I thought possibly a cutworm because it was limp. But, um. I'm just not sure this is my first year growing dahlia so it's gonna be a lot to learn for that um, and then these are the ones that I planted from seed the floret seedlings little seeds I planted I got a little few um, Uh, things to get out of there. There's another one that looks kind of punish. I'm not sure what's wrong with you either. Some of this stuff needs to come out of here. That, that could be a issue. And um, I'll tell you, if you plant a flower, a weed will come. <laughs> That's all you have to do is dig you a little spot out, clean it out really, really well, and um, plant a flower. The weeds will come. Over here is zinnias that I planted last weekend, and they're still looking small and punish, but uh, they'll come around. You can see all those, and they're all different colors. It's lime, lilac, rose, scarlet, and then I have two trays here to plant. Uh, this is um, orange. And then I have a pink. There it is, right there. And I'm, I've already um, put some plant tone on here, and I've already um, scratched the surface up with my rake to get it ready. And I'm gonna just uh, start planting these. And I forgot my gloves, so now we gotta walk back to the. That's a good little ways. And as you can tell, you see the weeds there. I got a whole row of weeds. That's nothing but weed, but I'm not going to worry about it because we're going to till that back in. I'm going to get those nice little poppy pods off because they'll have seeds in them. My bachelor's buttons needs to be cleaned up, but we had rain every day, I think, this week. And I would come home and it would be raining. Look at this. These are new bachelor buttons. And look at the little bee. I think that's a little honeybee. And he's just working. There's a big bee. And they love it. Little, little sweet little things. Just don't bite me. Don't sting me. <laughs> I don't want any stinging. I still have some, um, as you can tell over there, I still have some snapdragons that are hanging on. I need to cut those off today 
hand. Let me get my gloves here. And we're going to walk back down the road. This is some Bells of Ireland. They did not get, some of them didn't get very tall. But they're pretty. One, I got a few tall ones in there. Um, these, uh, these I need to cut down because they're old. It's hard for me to walk in this. I've asked the man to not make these walkway so narrow but he's a he's a long time farmer he's he farmed most of his uh young life and i worked on the farm also and um so this is what he's used to he's not used to making a nice walkway so um, eventually i'll get him to understand i can't walk like that i have a bad leg Y'all don't know all about that, but anyway, some of you do. Anyway, let's see if I can let y'all look at a few plantings, and then so the video doesn't get too long, I'll cut it off. I'll plant a few for you to see, and like I said, I've already um, got it so that it's ready to plant with my rake. I've raked it over. Um, I've put plant tone on it. Uh, the one thing I did forget was my compost. I'll come, I'll come back and put a little compost over them. Um, okay, so I have to have this little bit over here to be able to get down here and plant. And I told you I soil blocked, right? And I've watered these. They're going to be kind of falling apart here, but see that little? So I'm just going to dig a little hole, and I'm putting them about six inches apart. I can only get three in my row. I've um, my mentor that I call my mentor, um, Lisa Mason Ziegler, and y'all can look her up. Um, she has a wonderful garden um, that she's a um, her gardens are beautiful and she has wider rows than I do and she plants like six or eight uh, it's maybe six inches apart and some of these may not be six inches apart but I'm trying to get them at least three in a row. And if you can see that, not sure if you can see that or not, but that is a um, bad um, grass root. I hate that grass. It will. I don't care how dead you think it is, it will come back every time. These may be a little closer than six inches apart, but um, I don't have a bed maker. I have um, um, just what we had when we um, lived on the farm to make tobacco rows with. And then we come back and um, take the, you know, take it back down it's flat. I need to be able to plant the rows of these and everything else that I plant. Um, I think um, a lot of people use uh, Bio 360. Um, that's what Lisa uses um, to keep the weeds out. Um, this is just my first year of farming, so I don't have all of that yet. Um, but I'm working on it. Got to do one thing at a time. got 
really wet in the rain. They were on my porch, but the, one, the rain just kind of blew up on the porch. goodness for the rain because the rain is soft enough for this thing. So I can just dig down with my hand and put them in it. This was my horse pasture. I've had horses for years. And um, you would think that it would be nice and fertile but she's been down there for I think it's been at least four years now that he's been gone. I've had I had him oh, since he was about a year old and he lived to be 33. And that's just how quick it is to get that done. I've got a tray and a half to do. And oh, don't fall down. And um, I will bring you guys back and uh, let you see the progress of the zinnia seeds uh, and the zinnia plants that I've planted. And um, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us. Come back again and join us again. Thank you. Bye-bye.